fun fact of the video, I am not wearing pants, and I, uh, I have no shame in this fact. I think everybody should wear no pants because it is far more comfortable. Just saying. Hey guys, it's Jay, and today I'm here with a review video for It Ends With Us by Colleen Hoover, and I ended up giving this book a 5 out of 5 stars on Goodreads. I absolutely adored it. So without further ado, let us get started. In my opinion, I think that you should go into this book blind, but for the sake of the review, I am going to give a synopsis for it, but it probably will not do justice for the book in a whole because I don't want to give any spoilers. So my suggestion is to go in blind, but you know, that's just me. But here is my synopsis of this book. So this book follows a woman named Lily Bloom and the book opens up with her sitting on a rooftop in Boston and she just acted a little inappropriately at her father's funeral. And so she's kind of reflecting back on that time and that's when a man comes onto the roof and he is very distraught, he's very angry, he's kicking a chair around. This man ends up being Ryle Kincaid. He is a neurosurgeon who has a very hard time being in relationships. He doesn't have the fondest memories of them. They end up meeting again a few months later and Ryle gets a soft spot for Lily and he decides that he wants to try this relationship thing. Fast forward a couple of months and Lily and Ryle are in a committed relationship and that is when her ex first lover shows up, his name is Atlas, and things get a little complicated from there. That's all I'm gonna say because I don't want to give any spoilers about what happens or like what's going on in the book. But I will say that there are some trigger warnings for this book. There's definitely a trigger warning for abuse and there's definitely a trigger warning for rape. Keep that in mind while going into the book in case those are some triggers for you. I don't want you to pick up the book and be triggered because like that's no fun but this book is so great so important i highly recommend it and now let's get into my full thoughts on the book first off i want to say that you should definitely read the author's note for this book as soon as you're done the story in order to get a better perspective of why colleen hoover wrote this book it makes it so much more relevant and just so much more heartbreaking in my opinion so definitely take the time to read the author's note because makes it so much better the book is honestly so brutal and honest at the way that things are portrayed and just I was not expecting it to be how it was. I've heard a lot of controversy about Colleen Hoover's books and how she romanticizes abuse and things like that and I think that she did such an amazing job with this book and not romanticizing abuse in any way. I honestly could not put this book down. I needed to know what was going to happen next with Lily and Ryle and Atlas. Everything about the story just had me hooked right from the beginning. I freaking loved Lily as a main character. She was so strong and compassionate. And just, she made me cry so many times. I definitely admire her for the decision that she made at the end. I personally have never been in a physically abusive relationship, so I cannot say how I would react to what Lily went through. I have only been in an emotionally abusive relationship, and I would not wish that on anybody else because it is terrible, and I have always said that as soon as someone mistreated me, I would leave them, and that's not what ended up happening, and I feel that a lot of people blame the victim when they're in an abusive relationship and that's not what it should be. It was mentioned a lot of times in this book how we should be blaming the abuser, not the victim, because it's not their fault. Just I really resonated with that point of the book, so I think that's also one of the reasons why I rated it so hard because I related so much to Lily. This book was honestly an emotional roller coaster. I personally loved Ryle in the beginning. I thought he was such a little haughty and dreamboat and then as their relationship turned more toxic I was so angry about it and I was like so mad at Colleen Hoover for doing that but I understand why she did and why she told the story she did but I was just so angry because I wanted them to be happy and the cute couple that they were in the first half of the book. I absolutely adored Atlas right from the beginning of the book. I thought he was a total sweetheart and 
his whole story was so heartbreaking and I loved how they still really connected with each other the second time they were meeting. And I just, I love them together and it just made me happy. I wish that there was more Atlas in the book, although I did really like how we saw Lily's past story with Atlas instead of like the present and how they were together now. I really liked reading about how they were when they were in love. I thought it was really sweet and pure and I just, I just wanted to squish them. They were so cute. I also want to point out that this book has an amazing female-female friendship. Alyssa and Lily are so supportive of each other. Alyssa is honestly the MVP of this book. If Lily didn't have Alyssa, I don't think she would have been able to come to the same conclusion that the story did come to. I think that it would have ended a lot differently, so I just think Alyssa is a great character and I highly recommend this book for the female-female friendship in it because it shows what a friendship should be like. Like I said, I really liked how Colleen Hoover didn't try to romanticize the idea of abuse. I really like how we saw the story from the victim's perspective and how even though you know you should leave, it's very difficult when you love that person and you just want to forgive them for what they've done to you even though that that's not what you should probably be doing. You can't help it. And I think that it was done in such a way that it wasn't like a preachy kind of thing. Like I really appreciated this story because it was so honest. I just need a dang sequel to know what happens with the whole situation and everything that goes on in this book. I want to know what happens next. I can't say anything because I'll give the spoily spoils, but like I need a sequel like ASAP. There's one quote in the story that I absolutely adored. It's probably gonna be one of my favorite quotes for a very long time. The quote is, there's no such thing as bad people. We're all just people who sometimes do bad things. And I just love that quote so much. It's gonna stick with me for a very long time because I honestly think it's true. But as I said, five out of five for this book. I think that it's a very important topic. I think that it's done in a way that can be appreciated by everybody who reads it. I highly recommend it to everybody. It's an amazing story and it really shows a different perspective on abuse victims and their stories. So, five out of five stars. Read this book, please, if you haven't already. Alright guys, so that was my review of Colleen Hoover's It Ends With Us. I know that it's very controversial and a lot of people aren't enjoying her books as much as they used to, but personally, I connected with Lily. I really enjoyed her story and I really loved the perspective that Colleen wrote from, so I highly recommend the book. I will see you all in my next video. Goodbye!